Hi, this is Bank Halverson, and I'm at the 2013 Detroit Auto Show. I'm standing next to the 2014 GMC Sierra. Now, the GMC Sierra hasn't been remodeled or significantly refreshed since 2007. A lot has changed in the pickup market since then, and a lot has changed in the way that we use pickups. Um, most significantly for this new 2014 Sierra is that GM has given it the bold front end of the heavy duty trucks and it looks really similar to the heavy duty trucks that debuted for 2011. Under the hood of these new 2014 Sierra trucks are three all new engines, a 4.3 liter V6, a 5.3 liter V8, and a 6.2 liter V8 at the top for those who tow really heavy loads. And with each of these engines in the lineup is a six speed automatic transmission. Now all three of these engines come with variable valve timing, cylinder deactivation technology, and direct injection. All three of those technologies, they combine to build more power using less fuel. GMC has also redone the interior of this truck. It receives IntelliLink, which is a Bluetooth interface, essentially, that allows you to connect for hands-free calling, for streaming audio uh, and other entertainment through Pandora, for instance. Uh, it's also included authentic aluminum trim, as well as soft touch uh, materials where we didn't have them before at the top of the doors, for instance. Uh, it's also increased uh, your storage spaces inside the cabin. Uh, we're standing next to an extended cab, and the big change for the extended cab for 2014 is that the back doors are hinged at the front, and there's considerably more backseat space as well. With respect to cargo, which is really what matters for pickups, isn't it? We have new tie-downs, we have a new step that makes it easier to get up to the bed, and then we have LED lighting for the bed. And then there's this, a damp tailgate. Stay tuned, we don't have power figures out for the engines. We don't have fuel economy ratings yet, but that's all coming soon. You can see the review, you can see specs, pictures, and we'll keep updating the information on these trucks as it's available at thecarconnection.com.